Well, everything's going pretty good. Everything's going pretty good. Uh, kind of geared me down in therapy a little bit and uh, going to cut it back to a couple days a week instead of three. So uh said I'm progressing nicely is the way they put it. So that's a good thing. Uh, on the knee, uh, we've got another incident going here now. Uh, borrowed the wife's van the other night, go to a basketball game with my two oldest daughters, Madison and Mallory. And on the way back home, uh, we had this right here take place. The old buck deer decided he wanted to uh, meet up with us. So uh, done a little number insurance adjuster just left. And um, so wife wasn't real happy, but we're all okay. That's the main thing that counts right there. You know what I'm saying? But uh, we kind of got a good laugh out of the deal. Uh, we hit the deer and then we pulled over into a driveway about a quarter mile down the road and we all got out. Of course, you know, I'm about 6'3", Madison, my oldest one's about 6'1", and then Mallory, my 16-year-old's about 5'10", and this guy come out of his house, and we were looking at the van and had flashlights on our phone on, and we was looking, and all of a sudden, he was like, he looked up at all of us. He said, man, y'all's a family of giants, and uh, so we all got tickled at that, you know, And uh, but anyway, we, we got a good laugh, and then this guy that was just here... Um, told me he said man he said i knew i recognized the name he said i didn't put it all together on my insurance it's actually shane instead of neil and uh but anyway uh he said he had watched a lot of my youtube videos on uh, when i was with maverick and everything so that's pretty cool we got to talk about that a little bit and um but anyway a lot of you know me well enough to know that you know i try to take uh, any situation and turn it into a uh, practical joke of some kind. So here's what I did. We called my mother who lives about a block over and told her that we got the deer in the van and we're needing a place to put it for the night uh, when this happened the other night and I asked her if she had some freezer space and she said no, that she didn't have any. She wouldn't make any for a deer, you know, that that's just, she don't like that and you know, this, that and the other and she was making a bunch of excuses and so my oldest daughter had her on the phone. She said, well, Granny, she said, I think your refrigerator that's in the house is a side-by-side, -side, you know, freezers on one side, refrigerator on the other. She said, I think we could pull them shelves out of that freezer and just stand this deer up in there. No, you're not, you know, and boy, I mean, she got wound up and it's pretty funny. So uh, we come home and Malia's got this little horse that she plays with, a little stuffed miniature horse, you know. You'll see it in the video here in just a second. So... This is what we did to my mom. Hope y'all enjoy it. Appreciate y'all watching as always. Uh, you don't care, give me a thumbs up. Comments are always welcome. And uh, hit that friend button, AKA subscribe button. And uh, y'all stay safe out there and uh, take care. Talk to y'all later on. I'm just telling you, I told him not to do it. I told him not to, okay? So don't be mad at me what he's about to do. I told him not to do it, do What? He didn't bring that over here, did he? Yeah. I, come here and look at this, Mom. I am not coming out there, Shane. What? I am not coming out there. And you damn well better not bring it in the house. Shane! Trash bag, Mom. I don't care what you got in there. Get out of here. I mean, come on. Come out here and look at it. I am not. Shane, get out! God, I'm... It's not very big. It's not very big. We could put it. We could put it cats are, get off that thing. Don't be licking on that. Come here and look at it. Shane. Okay. I do not want to see it. Thank you. It's kind of heavy.